Hi guys, I'm really excited about this medical misconception. We got our first emailed in question, and I was really excited about it because it kind of goes along with the theme that we've already been talking about with Draymond Green. And it is, hello, Bougie and Company. I am a 62 year old man married to a beautiful, loving younger woman. Sometimes my wife wants to have sex and I do too, but I just can't get it up. I was talking to some guys during a fishing trip and they were telling me I should eat more watermelon because it's like a natural booster shot for your penis. Is this true? Could water help? Could watermelon help me with my little problem? Mm. Well, but, um, I did a little research on this, and I had heard this as an old wives' tales before. This, I bet this guy is from down south because I've heard this from southern men a lot. Okay, that the reason why there's so much watermelon at picnics and get-togethers. I'm out. I'm, I'm out. serious. Nah. The reason nah. why there's so much watermelon at picnics and get-togethers is because it's like a natural aphrodisiac. I've heard this a lot. And so I did some research, and there I actually looked into medical journals. And there are some medical journals dating all the way back to like 2008. One, um, a school in Texas did a study where watermelon actually increases like the libido, but it also helps with erections. So it's not necessarily wow. that much. It's not like you have to eat a whole bunch of it or drink a whole bunch of it. It's more so like it, it's doable. It's a doable amount. Okay. But the thing that's in so so the question is actually, if I'm reading it correctly, is if it will make him erect. And there was another study that came out in the, I can't remember the journal name. I'll put it right here. I'll look it up again. But there's a study that came out that said the citrulline in the watermelon will actually improve the amount of erections you get. And how the study measured it was it took like 24 men, average age 57. This guy is 62 years old. So it will work perfectly for him. It applies, the study applies to him. And they measured based off, they asked ahead of time, how many erections do you get? How much sex are you having? How often is it? And how pleasurable is it? And kind of questions like that. They also measured the erection, the amount of the erection, like the quality. Okay. And they measured that zero to four, zero being not an erection at all, and four being completely erect. Right. And on average, these guys were like at three, and some at two, but on average at three. So what they did was they put them in a study, and they found out by introducing the watermelon. Some people ate watermelon. I think most people were actually drinking the watermelon. And they found out the average went from three to four. So fully erect. How many? Do you know how many people were in the study? 24. Seven. Okay. Um, but what's, what's interesting about it is so a lot of these guys can't, couldn't use Viagra. That's one reason why a lot of the guys signed uh -huh. up for it. A lot of them couldn't use Viagra for medical reasons. But the watermelon doesn't have the bad, same bad side effects that Viagra has. It doesn't have the same, like, oh, you can't, some Viagra you can't, you can't mix with, like, different drugs. Right. So it doesn't have that situation. And Viagra sometimes can cause, like, a bad headache, and it doesn't cause the bad headaches. Okay. So it's really interesting how this watermelon, something that looks just as simple as this, can actually change your sex life. I'm curious, yeah, to see in the future if, I, I'm sorry, I really want some watermelon. I hope you don't mind. Girl, you better go get your own fork. You know I don't eat behind people. Oh, you ate all, You already ate? Yes. What? There you go. Yes. yes. There you go. Know. You know what? I'm actually breaking a rule right now. I don't eat watermelon in public, and I don't eat it on camera just because of the stereotype of black oh, people I eat everywhere. with watermelon. Wait, uh, not to detract from this medical misconception, but... Uh, we so we actually used to live together, and we moved into uh, this condo. Remember, you remember the story? I don't. I don't. Keep going. Okay, so they had food downstairs when we were moving in, and there was a lady there, and they had some watermelon. She's like, "Oh, you girls look like you like." Oh, watermelon. I remember this now. I remember like what. How, oh, how dare you? Grab a piece of watermelon. I remember this now. Upstairs. That was some nasty We didn't eat it in front of her. We were like, oh, we might just take a couple of slices. Just one or two. But she was like, you girls look like you like watermelon. We might just take one or two here or there. And we were like, as soon as we hit the elevator, we're like, mm, oh, this is not sweet. It was not. It, it was not like sweet. a light pink, not a it dark wasn't, pink. It wasn't like ready this. at all. Mm -mm. But hopefully this answered his question. And maybe he can try using the watermelon. Um, ho hopefully this helps. Let us know if you have any other questions. Email us or record yourself like he did and send it to us and we'll keep answering your questions. But until then, I'm gonna just eat me some watermelon. Bon appetit. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right, y'all. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next topic because uh, she's having her own <laughs> orgasm. I didn't know that watermelons caused that as well. My, I, feel I'm, I feel my libido increasing like really? already. Yeah, we gotta hurry this up. We gotta oh, hurry sorry. this up.